Good morning again, everybody. So I was able to run home this morning, just real quick for about two hours. It was nice run our way to Kenora, Ontario. I brought that load up from Duluth yesterday, slept here uh, at my shop, was able to sneak home. Now we got to run over to Kenora to get loaded this afternoon yet so that we can get unloaded tomorrow in Brainerd, Minnesota. From Brainerd, Minnesota, we're gonna run down to Evansville, Wisconsin. There's a loaded trailer there waiting for me. I'm gonna swap them out, grab the loaded one, leave the empty one, tie it down, and pull it back home as fast as I can. We'll be home in time for the weekend. Let's get going. Southeastern Manitoba, right before the Ontario border again, and the scale's open today. I'm empty, so they probably won't wanna see me. Roll my window so that they can see my safety sticker. Make sure they can see me in the cab as well. I'm cutting it a little close today. I wanted to spend as much time at home as I could. We're still on schedule, but I don't really have any time to waste right now.
100 meters, turn right on, Trans Canada Highway, Highway 17. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm just checking logbooks, dude. Sure. Can you pull the brakes? Yeah. Sure, whatever you want. Sure, yeah. Logbook. Yeah, what are you hauling? Yep, yeah, that all makes sense. Good enough, Bell. You have a good one. That's all I need. Okay. Yep, yeah, have a safe drive, eh? Okay, thanks. I just got a quick logbook check. Real quick, took about 30 seconds. So now, what do we got left? About well, 45 kilometers, I'd say 25 to 28 miles. Oh, look at the water. Look at the water. I want to get on the water so bad. I was looking at boats yesterday. I was. They're expensive. Man, like to get a nice pontoon, like to get a pon, I'd want a 150 horsepower pontoon, right? At least, because I want to be able to like pull a tube behind it. So, if you get a new one, you're looking at like forty to fifty thousand dollars. And I, I could probably find a used one, but I mean, then it's a used one, right? Nothing wrong with that, as long as you get it from a decent person who took care of it. So we were the last one here. There's no one behind me, so I was able to tie everything down in the shade in here instead of out in the hot sun. One other truck over there is just finishing up. We're, we're the last two. Got my corner protectors up on the corners there. It's my regular load. Corner protectors up there and there. A strap in here just to stop the tarp from flapping. You don't want the tarp to flap because the tarp is flapping. You're just asking for it to get ripped. Ripped tarps are not good tarps. They are. They don't work as good. They got holes in them because they're ripped. Stop ripping your tarps. They're very expensive. These. Uh, it's a set of three. I'm only using two on this load. There's another one just on my trailer up there. See, all three. They were uh, about nine hundred dollars US. So about. What was it? Twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars Canadian. So they're not—they're not cheap. They're eighteen ounce. They're uh, eighteen foot long with eight foot drops with a flap on the ends. And the end and the third tarp is just a center tarp with no flap. But I don't need a center tarp on this load. Oh, what do we got up here? Oh, oh a little sneaky corner that snuck past my senses. Keep an eye on that. Good thing these uh, bundies are extra tight right here, so that shouldn't be flapping. See, if that tarp was flapping there, that corner would eat right through the tarp. But since it's tight, we should be okay. I'm not worried about that. How's that? I think I'm gonna actually add two more here. I don't like how loose this is here. So I'm gonna add one from here to the same side over there and uh, tighten up that bottom a bit and we'll be out of here I should be cleared for the border already cross through from Port Francis Ontario to International Falls Minnesota and make our way down to Brainerd tonight there we go Let's see a little bit tighter less flappy flap
tell me that this view right here doesn't just make you want to go fishing. If you can honestly say that, then you tell me that this lake right here doesn't make you just want to go and jump in it. The temperature outside is about 26 degrees, so 75 Fahrenheit, 75 to 80 Fahrenheit today. Perfect temperature. already a boat out on the lake. I wish that was me. One day I'll have a boat. One day. Confession time. It's a double quarter pounder with cheese meal with large fries and a Coke Zero to balance out the healthy. Ah, <laughs> uh, couldn't help myself. I'm here in Fort Francis and I was hungry, okay? And there's a spot I could park. And it just had my name on it. It was like, here, Chuck Josh. Chuck Josh. Come and park over here. McDonald's is just over there, Chuck Josh. I had these voices in my head. I gotta be careful when I say that. People are gonna believe that it's actually true. I don't have voices in my head. Just so you know, disclaimer. The internet. People believe anything. Stop believing everything you hear on the internet. Advice from Trucker Josh. I'm just a guy who babbles. In Fort Francis, Ontario, let's go and cross into uh, International Falls, Minnesota, and continue our way south. Let's go see the good people in America. It's that way, and then that way. America's literally, those trees over there, like there's that break in the trees, there's a river there. And then those trees on the other side, that's America. Technically, this is America too. This is also Canada, which is also inside North America. So it is the Confederated Provinces of North America. Right over there are the United States of America. You could say of North America, but I don't know how that naming thing works. That's what they named it and that's what we call it. That's okay. Can I go now, please? It's my turn. It's my turn. Oh. Always such a big ordeal getting into traffic when you're fully loaded. All right, come on, come on. All right, oh, yes, there we go. I didn't even have to inconvenience anyone. That's nice. Don't you dare turn yellow. Don't you dare. Sometimes you just gotta be a little tough with these lights. Give them a little tough love threaten them a little bit, you know. Better stay green. Hey, Minnesota plates. I bet they're going back where I'm going, back to Minnesota. In Deer River, Minnesota. There's the moon over there. That tiny dot on the screen, the camera doesn't really do it justice. It's been low on the horizon every night this past week and like a reddish orange color. Interesting. 
So yeah, this is uh, this is us. It's pretty dark here. I'm gonna get a couple of videos edited. Now that I'm ahead of schedule, because I got loaded today instead of tomorrow. I can get a couple of them done tonight. So that's why I pointed my nose this way, so I'm not right beside that guy's truck. So this load was supposed to be loaded tomorrow morning, but I did the math, and if I were to get loaded tomorrow morning and rush down to Brainerd and get unloaded the same day, which is possible, I've done it many times, but any delay at all, and you can't make it. It's gotta be there by four o'clock down in Brainerd, and it's a six hour drive. You, you can start getting loaded at about, well, they open the, the gate at seven. By the time they start throwing freight on you, it's usually about 7.30, and then you gotta go and tarp yet. So 7.30, you, you could maybe be out of there by like nine or 10, which would get you down to Brainerd if you don't stop all the way down between three and four. It's always very close, so any delay and you don't make it. No, on a regular, ordinary day, they, uh, I would just unload the next morning, right? So tomorrow's Thursday, and if I were to get, or if I were not to be able to get unloaded tomorrow, that means I'd unload Friday morning, then I have to drive seven hours all the way down to uh, Evansville, Wisconsin yet. Grab my trailer there, which again, on a different weekend when I had nothing up, that would work, I, c I could make that happen. I can make that work. Sorry guys, bear with me. With the low light, it's been hard to get my camera to focus on me. I'm just gonna go and turn the lights on in my truck here. And, uh, my apologies. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> and what were we saying? Much better. Ah, uh, yes, now you can see me. Should have had them on all along. So, if I would have only gotten unloaded Friday morning, drive seven hours down to Evansville, well, that's pretty much the whole day. By the time I get that load tied down there, then I have to get all the way back home yet, and it's about 11 hours to the border. So I'll need a full day to get to the border. And if I can get to the border at Emerson, Manitoba, then I can get, I'll get an extra two hours on Canadian hours of service, I'll be able to get home. So it's gonna be, it would be a full day and I would only get home like Saturday night then, which means I would miss everything on Saturday. We've uh, already bought our tickets for this uh, Paranormal Cirque. It's like a sort of like Cirque du Soleil. I think it's a different company, but anyways, we have a date night planned and uh, dinner with my in-laws and I don't wanna miss that. So in order to make all of that happen this weekend, this is what trucking is all about. It's about time management and it's about uh, planning ahead this is where consumer math comes in handy. So we, we talked to them, asked them really nicely if they could load me today instead of tomorrow, which they, they were nice enough to do. Got my load on my trailer, now I got down here to Deer River, so tomorrow I'll be able to for sure get unloaded and get down to Evansville at the end of the day. We'll be down there late in the evening or during the night. We'll get down there, we'll have enough time to switch trailers, tie down that load, hopefully make it a little ways back but even if we don't as long as we get to evansville then on friday morning the following morning i'll already have my load tied down i can just book it home it'll take all day friday to get home but i think i'll be able to do it well that's my story of how these last couple of days have shaped out for me everything is sort of riding a fine line so that I can get home on time, but as long as we don't have any big, big problems, you know, knock on wood, as long as we have no delays, we get unloaded quickly tomorrow, and uh, we get down there for my load, as long as my load is ready, maybe it'll even be easy to tie down, depends, some of those loads we pick up there take like two hours to tie down, some of them take 20 minutes, I don't know what load I'll have yet, but anyways, that's that, so I'm gonna go to bed right here, We'll get going in the morning. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Please, all the regular things that I always say that every YouTuber says. Engage with the video down below if you want to help out the channel. It's the best way and it's free. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like if you want to help out the channel. You can share it on your social media. And also, if you want to take it one step further, you can always get early access to the videos. Even though I'm very behind right now, I have to edit like 
I think I'm like eight, seven or eight videos behind. That's why I'm gonna do a couple of videos here now and try to catch up a little bit. Uh, but uh, as soon as I have them done, which can be up to a week early, I post them up there for the members. And then uh, I release them one at a time on YouTube. But uh, you can click the Join Now button if you want to learn more about that. If not, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're, uh, what you're up to today. Where are you watching my video? Talk to you later.